not touch him. One more knock, I'm going. Hey, what's going on champ squad? My name is Insanity if you guys are new, and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So now that we're in the first few days of Season 8, I figured I'd start the season off with another installment of my settings series, where I go over a few different settings that I think are important for improving your overall skill level and performance in Apex. Before we hop into it, these were my final stats for Season 7, which overall I'm pretty happy about, but as always, I'm looking for ways to keep improving in Season 8. I'm looking to hit Masters again both splits this season. I don't think I'm going to make the Pred push, at least not this split, because I don't really love King's Canyon as a ranked map, but stay tuned, we'll see. Before we hop into the gameplay and settings, I am hosting a 1v1 tourney this weekend for subscribers with a $100 prize pool. It should be really fun and competitive. This was just one way I was looking to give back to you guys for hitting 1,000 subscribers. I will be streaming it this Saturday at 1pm Eastern on my Twitch, which is here linked on the screen if you want to check it out. So the settings I'm going to discuss today are geared towards helping you guys loot and shield swap faster. The first setting you definitely want to adjust is to try to have your menu cursor speed as far to the right as possible, in my opinion at least halfway along the bar. This is really important for quickly looting and shield swapping, especially with how third parties have been at the end of season 7 and the start of season 8, being able to shield swap quickly in the middle of fights rather than healing is super important. Having your menu cursor speed faster, also further along the bar, will let you navigate over to the fresh armor in a box a lot more quickly and put on a fresh shield faster. The next setting that's really important for being able to shield swap effectively and efficiently is that you need to turn off taking damage closes death box menu, which I believe is the default value. If you have this on, if you get shot at all while you're looting, you'll get immediately pulled out of a death box. So while this might sound like a good idea, because you'll be able to react faster if you're getting shot while looting, You'll also get pulled out of a death box prematurely before you're able to put on a fresh shield. Obviously you don't want this to be the case, so make sure you have this turned off. Alright, so try these things out and let me know what you guys think. Uh, this gameplay I have here was one of my last games of Season 7 where I drop a 3k with the Wingman. It's a really fun game that I think you guys will enjoy. I'm definitely missing World's Edge a lot already. I don't know how you guys feel about having to play for King's Canyon for you know two weeks, um, but I'm looking forward to some of the other maps coming back soon. Hope you enjoy the vid, and I'll catch you in the next one. Seventy two on him. Hold tight, I got you back. Watch coming up. I see if I can get angles on them. Shields, shields, 
On me. Hold up, walk him. So hard, just the blood out left in this game. It's impossible to hit. That was the whole squad. Knocked one, pushing. Another enemy down. Tango killed. Nice work. Give him my shields a recharge. One's on me. God. Watch the kids with the hemlock. All the way back. One sec. Use my Phoenix tip. Cracked. One's it. Just ahead. Cracked the head. Cracked. Oh, we're gonna stop up here, let's see. Yeah, that is down. Ah, I'm dead. I'm going. I'm really safe. 